Good morning. Today I'm attempting to replace the ignition coil, this part right here, on my Dodge Ram 1500. Now, uh, it's down under here. Uh, hold on, let me get a light. There it is right there, that little brass looking knob. That piece, the um, plug wire, I don't know what to call it, ignition coil wire, snaps onto there. You just push it on just like a spark plug. And it has one electrical connection this is down there on the very bottom. If you can see it, that black thing, I've sprayed it with a little oil. Now on mine, on the, all the other Dodge Ram forums that I saw, the screw was a bolt head, but on mine, it's a Phillips head. And there's two screws that go over here on the side. You see where I'm shining right there? And it screws through. There's no nut on the other side. It's a threaded connector thing on that side that it goes through. I already took it out. And then I thought, well, maybe other Dodge owners, uh, Ram van owners will have a problem. So here's what I did. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is a couple reasons. I've been having a problem with the uh, intermittent, like a jerk, like a cylinder that's not firing. And you know I did a tune-up last year. It could be many things. I put fuel injector cleaner in, and actually the last time I drove it, it didn't do it. So maybe that will clear it out. But this is something that I postponed doing as part of the tune-up. Because, you know, I had trouble with that tune-up, with those spark plugs. So I'm going under. So I went under and was able to undo the electrical connector. You simply push. See, it's in a weird place. And it's stuck in there. But uh, you push right here on the front. It gives a little bit, and then you just tug down gently. See, when I'm pushing, it's releasing a little bit there. And then you pull down. I grasp the whole thing like that, and I push and tug. Okay, stop the presses because I couldn't get the second screw out. As you can see, it right there stuck. Look what I found. There's a mounting bolt right there highlighted in my light. Not the one in the front of the black pipe, the one behind the black pipe. That one. It's a nine, nine, sixteens bolt. And you see that metal bracket? You go down under the car, there's another bolt just like it on the other side. <laughs> Two seconds. Got that off. Now I'm getting this one out. I've already uh, disconnected all the electric on the part, so hopefully it'll be out in a minute. And Okay, and the top bolt also has a ground. So the bolt goes through this ground and then through the bracket and then into the mounting hole. So make sure you don't forget to put that back. Let me stick it up there. Hopefully I will remember. Here's the offending thing. And I already know if this is bad, but look at that screw. It would not. I did everything to it. As you can see, I mutilated the hell out of it. So I'm going to be just finding a new screw. Put that on, but here's the bracket. Unbelievable. Okay, so let me get this off of here. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. I may have to cut it off, because I do need this bracket. I brought it over to my workbench and tightened it up into the teeth of space here. And one thing I was attempting was to cut a little hole there to make it into a flathead. So I'm going to try that. I might need to go a little deeper. <sighs> yeah. Make it a little deeper. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I think so. It's a 
such a soft metal. That's why you know. All right, I'm back at the car. To make life easy for me, my plan is to connect the electrical before I put this back on here. Oh, it's really hard. It doesn't want to just pop on there. That's why I wanted to do it with it loose. There we go. Did you hear the click? All right, so I got that connected. And now I'm going to put my flashlight down there and find the mount mounting hole. It's down there somewhere. And I'm going to put the uh, ground wire back on there too. All right. Here we go. So if I had just loosened the two uh, nuts to start with, it would have taken me the amount of time that you saw from the time I showed you that I took the bolt out the bottom to now, which was like less than an hour. But <laughs> I fritzed around with that all the, the trying to do it the other way for a couple of hours. It just wouldn't work. And the reason I didn't see that bolt is because underneath and on top here, it was so covered in gook that it just blended into the background. So once again, it was a problem of not being able to see. There it is in place. Now I'm getting ready to put the this back on. All right, ignition coil replaced. Definitely $80 saved. I'm going to put back the breather thing here. That's the only other thing I took off and then start the car. So I'm going to push that on there until it clicks, kind of. Until it's on there good. I'm not sure it'll click. And then push it down in here. That's it. Okay, let me get my keys. Right, thanks for watching. See you next time.